Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good afternoon, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. We're keeping Threat Tracker in the red as we are tracking a little more snow here this afternoon, especially across our northeastern counties. It's where we'll have the best chance for some accumulation. It's also going to be pretty windy as well. Could have gusts about 30 miles per hour at times. Still a bit breezy tomorrow. We'll have decreasing cloud cover, a little bit more sunshine expected here as we head into New Year's Day. As I mentioned, pretty windy this afternoon. We'll have sustained winds anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour out of the west eventually switching to northwest as our upper level low continues to track off to the east. You'll notice here as we head throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow, still pretty windy, so it's going to add an extra chill in the air with temperatures close to 30 degrees. Here's future track this afternoon. Starting at 1 p.m., we're going to start to see that snow from portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin continue to kind of pivot its way through eastern Iowa. That will continue into the evening commute. So from Waterloo to Dubuque, points off to the north, that's where I do anticipate at least a few slick roads for your evening commute. This is going to continue into the overnight hours. Here we are at 9 o'clock. Again, it's mainly near and north of Highway 20 where we have that best chance for snow. That's going to continue through the wee hours of Tuesday morning. Here we are at 2 o'clock as the last of the snow continues to fall in eastern Iowa. But by the time we get out the door at 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll just have a mainly cloudy sky. That being said, there could be a few slick spots after we see about 1 to 2 inches of snow near and north of Highway 20. Locally, there could be up to 3 inches, especially the farther northeast you live, so toward the Mississippi River as well as the Minnesota-Iowa state line. You get south of Waterloo, uh, Waterloo and Dubuque, looks like a trace, maybe 1 inch, but overall, Looks like a pretty minor event. Just be aware that there could be a few slick spots. There is that chance for snow here this afternoon. Temperatures will be in the lower 30s, maybe some middle 30s to the south. I think we've really already reached our highs for today. We'll just kind of hold steady where we are right now. We'll have west winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, light snow will continue. We'll have a west-northwest wind 15 to 25. Temperatures in the 20s, so it certainly is a little above normal for this time of year. We'll have seasonable temperatures tomorrow with highs in the lower to middle 30s. Your city-by-city city forecast does have a mix of sun and clouds. Probably more clouds than sun for most of the day, but by later in the afternoon, we should see some more sunshine. Well, lots of sunshine expected here as we head into New Year's Day with temperatures in the lower 40s. The Storm Track 7 day forecast has a cloudy sky here as we head into the first day of 2020. And then as we head Thursday night into Friday, we're tracking an area of low pressure that does bring the potential for snow on Friday. Right now we're keeping it at a pretty low chance as we still have plenty of time to iron out the forecast, but that will certainly be one to watch. It'll bring a lot of wind with it as well as we continue with the breezy conditions into the weekend with temperatures in the 30s.